awesome kids. Um, this is example four in unit 7.5. Here we go. Find the exact value. Okay, so let me ask you this question. Exact value. Calculator or non-calculator? I hope you said non because it has to be non-calculator. Okay, so A, sine composed with sine inverse of radical 3 divided by 2 plus cosine inverse of 1. There are so many different ways of, of writing these or finding the answer for these. You don't, don't feel obligated to do the way I do it. Um, if you know another way that's easier for you, you know what? Do that way. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let this one right here, see that right here, be alpha. And let this guy right here be beta, okay? So let's do alpha first. Since alpha is a sine inverse, I know that there's restriction. Sine inverse is either in one end and four because that's sine inverse and that's positive radical three over hypotenuse. I now know that's in quad one. Sine beta, I'm sorry, cosine beta, it's also restricted. It's in quad one and and two because I know that's positive. So I know it has to be right here. Okay, so cosine inverse of 1, it's right here. Okay, so let's go and find um, sine. You got sine, okay, of sine inverse of radical 3 over 2 plus cosine inverse of 1. But we already know that this is alpha and this is beta, right? So let's use your identity. And I meant beta. Okay. And the identity said, hey, what's the identity? Can you help me write that out? Sine of alpha, cosine of beta. Good. So far, so good. Plus cosine of alpha times sine of beta. Okay, well, I have alpha and beta. I know exactly where alpha, where to look for alpha. Alpha is a black triangle. Sine of alpha is radical three over two. Cosine of alpha, I can also look at the black one. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Beta, cosine of beta. Beta is a blue one. Cosine is one. Sine is zero. And then in the middle, I need to bring down that plus sign, otherwise it's going to be wrong. Okay, so when I multiply, 1 times radical 3 is just radical 3. All over 2, 0 times anything is 0. So my final answer for this one is just radical 3 over 2. Okay. Now, could you have worked this one out differently as well? Of course. Of course you could, could have worked this one out differently. Um, but that's just one way, and I, I will show you a different way um, soon, okay? Ooh, draw a line, okay. So similarly, I'm going to go through and assign each one alpha and beta. So this whole thing right here, I'm going to call it alpha, and this whole thing right here, I'm going to call it beta. Then I'm going to draw a triangle here. Sine is restricted in 1 and 4, it's positive. I'm going to put opposite over adjacent. This is 3, 4, 5. Beautiful. This is alpha. Then I'm going to draw beta. Cosine is restricted in 1 and 2. It's positive. I'm going to put it in quad 2. It's adjacent over hypotenuse. This is 5, 12, and 13. This is one of the special triangles as well, right? So this is 5, okay? Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, so let's work this out. Are you ready? I'm using cosine of alpha, which is the black triangle, plus beta, which is the blue triangle, do you know what the identity is? Can you help me write that out?
Okay, let's write it out together. I'm going to use green, okay? Cosine of alpha times cosine of beta. In cosine, we switch, okay? If it's positive here, we make it minus here. Sine of alpha times sine of beta. All right, now we will just go and look at the triangle. Cosine of alpha, alpha is coming from the black triangle, so cosine is 3 fifths, okay? Cosine of beta, beta is coming from the blue triangle, so I'm going to use blue ink. Cosine is 12 over 13. Then I'm going to have a subtraction sign in the middle, sine of alpha. Alpha is going to come from the black one, so I'm going to use black ink. Sine of beta, beta is coming from the blue one, so sine is 5 over 13. Let's multiply. So from here, 3 times 12, that's 36. 5 times 13, that should be 65. Take away 4 times 5 is 20, divided by 65 as well. Okay, let's plug in some more. 36, take away 20, that's 16, divided by 65. Do you think we can reduce this? It's not divisible by 5 on the top, so, and 16 is an even number, so it can only, re it can only be reduced by 2, right? Or multiples of 2. So right now, we can't really reduce that, okay? All right, on the last one, why don't you decide which one's alpha and which one's beta, and then draw at least two triangles for me, one for alpha and one for beta, and then we'll come back. Did you go decide alpha and beta and draw out the triangle? Okay, so again, I make this my alpha just because it's the first one. Okay, and make this my beta. All right, alpha is sine inverse of two thirds, so I'm gonna put that alpha in quadrant one with black ink because I circle it back. Okay, so black ink for alpha. Okay. And sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so let's do Pythagorean. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A squared is 2 squared plus B squared is unknown. We'll leave it as is, 3 squared. So this is 4 plus B squared equals 9. So that's B squared equals 5. So this is rad 5, okay? So B equals rad 5, all right? Now tangent, if you look at tangent, tangent is beta, but it's negative, so guess what you have to draw it in? Quadrant number four, opposite over adjacent. Well, tangent is negative three-fifths, so I need a little bit more space here, because I need to write negative three, right? And this is the three, four, five, or at least that's nice, okay. So this is beta. Okay, so now, let's go and use Cosine, right? Here we go. Cosine of alpha plus beta equals, can you write down the identity for me? You want to write down the identity each time, so that way by the time we take a test, it's already in your head. Um, you do need to have it memorized, all of these, okay? So it's going to be cosine of alpha, cosine of beta minus sine of alpha times sine of beta. All right, here we go. I'm going to see if I can plug it in, okay? Cosine of alpha, alpha is a left black triangle, so I'm gonna use black ink here. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Beta is my blue triangle, and it's cosine of beta, so it's 4 fifths. And then take away 
sine of alpha. Again, alpha is a black triangle, so I'm going to use my black ink. So two thirds and sine of beta. Beta is negative three over five. So those are the ratios of the triangles. And now we just have to multiply it out. This is four rad five all over 20. A negative times a negative is now a positive. A positive six over, I mean, why am I saying 20, 15? See how I can't multiply? Okay. I can't add, I can't subtract, okay. So this is 15. Well, the denominators are the same and the numerators can't, we can't do anything at all. So what can we do? Nothing. Am I right on that one? Nothing at all. Okay, here we go. So just 4 rad 5 plus 6 all over 15. Even if the top, I can factor out the 2, it's not going to help me reduce, so I'm just going to box it up. Okay, I hope that's I hope you understood all of that. If you didn't, listen to it again. Until then, have a wonderful day.